Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Just woke up waiting for Joey to wake up again. So we made a little bit of a mess last night with the crafting and everything. So I'm gonna clean a little bit. And I'm also going to re-wet my hair and try some of these curly hair products and see how it goes. Okay, since I'm just gonna kind of refresh the waves in my hair, since it still looks pretty wavy and I only wash my hair every other day, I'm gonna use the curl refresh uh, mist that I got yesterday. So let's just dampen my hair a little bit. scrunching. Also take a shower after this. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. So it's just a little jumpsuit like a sweatsuit that's a jumpsuit that ties in the middle. And then I'm just putting a little jacket over it and I'll probably just wear some like slip on sneakers. So I just wanted to do a fun little clip of some of my favorite board games because I love playing board games and I have a pretty big collection of about 30 games. So of course, I'm gonna start off with my favorite, the greatest of all time, Lemmy Cube. This is a tile game where you lay tiles in different sequences to try to get rid of all the tiles in your hand. And this is definitely my number one game. Joey just got me the Onyx version. Next we have Parks. This is a great game for one to five players. So you can also play by yourself, which is awesome. And you're basically looking at all these different national parks and the art is beautiful on all the different cards. Next, my favorite party game, Puns of Anarchy. So you have different cards and you write on them like white erase cards. You get different categories. So you get a category like dads and then you get King Kong and then you have to like write and make it into a pun or something funny and you choose the funniest one. That has to be one of my favorite party games. My next favorite party game is definitely Telestrations After Dark. They also have a family version. And you're basically, you get a word and it's like Pictionary. So you're writing out what you think the word is and then everyone guesses and they pass the little books around. Here's the book. So you write what the word is and then you draw it and then the next person guesses, the next person draws it and it's like telephone. You wanna see if the first word matches all the drawings. So I love that game. It always makes me laugh it's really hard. Next I have Dune Imperium. This is a hefty one. This is one of my favorite worker placement games. You can see some of the art on the back. I just really like worker placement. You're putting meeples places to get resources. That's one of my favorite types of game, like Lords of Waterdeep. Really like that one. Next, we have Steam Park. This is a game where you're putting robots into different rides, you have different attractions, and you're rolling a bunch of dice at once, and then it's all based on what you end up rolling. Next, another one of my favorites and a great party game. I think this plays up to eight players, so this is a really cool one. You're trying to get the lowest score, and you have to flip different cards. And it's a really good game if you just want to talk and play and kind of do something a little bit more mindless type game where it's just like a fun little party game. But if you don't pay attention enough, you could give someone a card that wipes out a row and then they could win the game. So you gotta be careful with that one. And then last but not least, one of my favorite really simple games that you can play alone as well or in a group is Can't Stop Express. So there's Can't Stop and then this is Can't Stop Express. You're basically just rolling a bunch of die and then you're filling out a little scorecard with the numbers that you get. It's a really fun little game that I found and I just put it on Board Game Arena, which is where I play all my games online.
got Joey a stocking stuffer. This is this is the stocking stuffer. It's not gonna fit in the stocking. This is the stocking. Yeah, too big. I didn't so, know it was gonna be so big. All right, we'll come back. Oh, here. and don't forget the glue gun's been plugged in. <laughs> come back here. I'm not... <laughs> wow. <laughs> So I made a joke a couple weeks ago about wanting, I saw a commercial, uh, I think we were watching probably Mr. Beast or something, and they were playing these toy commercials, and, and uh, they had commercials for these dinosaurs. I was like, oh, I want a dinosaur, and uh, you got one. There's a dinosaur. <laughs> You can see I'm wearing contacts, I'm not wearing my glasses, and the prescription is not really my prescription. It's a little bit lower, so I'm gonna have to deal with that for a little bit because they're gonna be putting new lenses into my frames, and they have a blue light on them for the computer. I don't know if that's like a legit thing or not. I don't know if it's real, but anyway, tonight I have a meeting at seven. We're gonna learn how to use the new electronic medical system. It's with my boss and my LCSW supervisor. So I'm gonna be taking a lot of notes and figuring that out because my new job starts on Monday and I'm a licensed social worker. So I'm a therapist at a private practice. So that's pretty exciting. And just pretty much wrapping some gifts, um, I got Joey one more gift and some stocking stuffers and then there's a couple more stocking stuffers coming tomorrow and then I'm done. I have enough gifts for everyone. I am done. Today's been just like a kind of sleepy, rainy day. It's the second day of rain. So I haven't been able to walk. Hopefully I'll get a chance to walk outside, but right now I'm just headed over to the eye place. So we moved to the suburbs in August and you know it's pretty nice. I love our apartment. It's really big. It's a two bedroom. Uh, one of the rooms is an office, which is really nice, but you know this neighborhood, it's a lot of older people, a lot of families with kids, so we don't fit in as much. So I think we're probably going to move a little bit more down south. Like I'm 34, Joey's 31. And I want to live more like maybe outside of Jersey City or outside of where like there's more going on. But I feel like now that we're having people over and doing parties and, and stuff like that and get togethers and stuff that I actually am starting to like it a little bit more. I'm here. I'm just early. I'm like a chronically early person. I'm like always way too early to stuff. I guess that's good. Sometimes people take you early, but then sometimes you're early and you have to wait. So it's like you're going to wait twice as long because you're early. Made a quick little tuna, cucumber, bean, mayo, salad with some spices. <laughs> 